guys, it's Thursday. Uh, there's crazy neighbor on a skid steer. We're just out uh, here in the driveway. We've got three loads of gravel. And if you've seen the other videos, uh, it was pretty much a mud pit. So this definitely makes a, a big difference. Um, I'm dragging a, a bumper behind the quad. Uh, I'm having a little bit of technical issues with the upload and rendering. Well, the rendering mostly and the upload on the video that is supposed to be going up right now. So I'm just filming this little thing to let you guys know that I haven't forgotten about you. And I know it's, uh, I know it's Thursday, but uh, I'm going to get that video up uh, as quick as I can. But we're just going to, I'm going to zip up and show you what we're doing with the road. Uh, I'm just going to throw together a little quick video here for you guys. Uh, as the other one is having some issues. But I'm going to drag this. This bumper does a really good job, as a matter of fact. It uh, smooths out the gravel just fine and dandy. And our power lines are all marked, so we're not going to dig there or hit anything, uh, anything dangerous, because that's uh, 14 kilovolts under there, so that would electrocute you pretty severely. Um, now let's get back up all right now this okay this is the infamous road with the fence going through it on this side we've been scraping away what we can to get the road through and the neighbor has actually just put up the fence posts in the areas that we were driving through but we haven't used his side for quite a while since the snow melt there's some barbed wire ready to go up so that's what's happening with this little fence line. I met the neighbor today actually too. He's a pretty good guy, so that's great. Uh, it's not unreasonable that he doesn't want somebody else's driveway going through his property. So we got a lot of fence posts to pull out here. This humongous mound of dirt has to come out. Uh, that tiny little cultivator was not appropriate for breaking through sod to put in a garden. So, generous neighbor next door, or I don't know what his name's gonna be, friendly neighbor? Crazy's taken already. Generous in-laws, I think friendly neighbor. Should be good, better than angry neighbor. Uh, he, has a, he has a rototiller that uh, he's very willing to let us use in order to get a garden put in here. And gonna get rid of these fences pose a pretty big risk on, uh, on quads and stuff like that, because there's, there's all this wire just kind of in the weeds so we're gonna get rid of as much of that as possible and I'm gonna head down and see what's happening at the burn barrel so it's not the burn barrel it's the fire pit actually um, we have another burn barrel for cardboard and construction lumber that type of stuff this is the first of uh, the campsites that I'm starting to build around the property these are like vehicle accessible things. So we're gonna clear out all this debris, uh, get it so you could actually pull an RV through uh, for friends or whoever when they come to visit. Then they can spend the night if they have too many step twos, speaking of which. Ah, uh, yes. After a hard day of working, uh, Crazy Neighbor and I were switching off on the uh, skid steer there. And he's better at it than I am uh, because I can't believe they rented it to me without actually knowing I've never driven one before. But it was pretty straightforward. There wasn't, uh, <laughs> weren't any mishaps. Uh, so that's, that's really good news. Crazy neighbors just drove up here. So I'm thinking he's just about had enough road building for the day. He's probably thirsty for step two because we got the zero, <laughs> zero step two limit operating heavy machinery, that is for sure. So we're gonna have uh, this video as soon as I can get it rendering and uh, uploaded uh, will be up, but this one will be just a quick little update. How do you do? It is Thursday, I hadn't forgot about you guys, but it's a pretty cool video and I put a lot more color correction, um, image stabilization, audio stuff on it um, just to, to get the audio better quality. There's no backing tracks or music or anything like that. But when I put on all those effects and color correction, it just slows down the rendering and then it crashes halfway through sometimes. So I 
been struggling to get that going, but it is a pretty cool video. And that's going to be up as soon as I can actually uh, get it rendered and uploaded. We're working with almost a little better than dial-up connection speed out here. So it's uh, tricky to get stuff uploaded, uh, definitely tricky to get 4K stuff uploaded, but I got my little ways around that. I have to park directly under a cell phone tower. And uh, the joys about living in rural Canada, you know the location of your cell phone tower, so uh, you drive right out there and make the backhaul choke on a 13 gig 4K video, and it does go pretty quick uh, once you're right under the tower. Anyways, um, thanks for uh, checking out this update just to let you guys know what's going on there. And between road building and this rendering stuff, I am going to stop chatting and have some more step twos because today is one of those days, one of those step two days. So stay tuned for uh, as soon as I can get this next video up. And you guys are awesome. Uh, hunker down at home. And thanks for camping with Steve or chatting with Steve as he's building a road. Cheers.